This week's episode of Kagavani was really interesting because it has an interesting twist and also interesting information. Because at first we have this kid who are being questioned by police about how come he was the only survivor in an abandoned garden where him and his friends took a test of courage. And he tells the story about how him and his friends was being attacked by some fly traps that has already eaten a person there and basically like turned him into a mummy. However, we found out that those creatures, the fly traps, are afraid of the light. I'm not sure if they are afraid of the light or at least after the reveal at the end or if it wasn't because it was because the person it was didn't want them to see him. So yeah, but at least the two uh, boys, two of the boys managed to escape or almost managed to escape because they use basically they flash a uh, light on each other and instead of moving forward, uh, they just stand there and I presume they stood there because they hoped that their batteries would last long enough for them to basically see the sun shine because then their plants would have to retract and only take one of their friends. However, it's pretty nasty that even when two of their friends uh, asked for help and basically all they had to do was to shine light on the what's called the plants to stop them, they just decided to run. So I kind of don't feel bad that they was eaten by those flowers when their battery on uh, one of the kids uh, flashlight ran out and uh, turned into mummies. However, the interesting reveal comes at the end because it turns out that the boy that he that uh, was the only survivor, the reason why he survived was because he was the one that ate his friends. He was the fly trap. Really interesting. And we also get some interesting information from Kimura, you know, the, the, boy, the guy that uh, Ban Ban Sensei doesn't like, and that is, as he says, they have apparently found a, found a way to imitate humans, unlike the time when your parents was taken. So I presume that the, the scar that, um, or yeah, because we are getting told that it was a scar or, yeah, stuff like that, that Ban Ban Sensei has in uh, one of his sites that hurts when, uh, you know, he's close to monsters. I presume that's from that time when his parents were taken. Maybe the monster also tried to take him, but they didn't get him because his parents was like stopping it. I wonder if we get that in, and we, if we are going to get that explained at the end or if we will have to like research that because that's, is turning this into a more interesting thing because now we have a motivation why or a reason why Ban Ban Sensei are studying the supernatural and how he came into this basically his angle. And I'm looking forward to next episode to see if we get more information because it's like we get more and more revealed about Ban Ban Sensei and there's pretty much not much left to reveal. However, I'm a little sad that we didn't get to know, get told what happened to his ex-girlfriend, but I presume she died. But when that is said and done, have a good day, good night, wherever you are. And I'll see you later, guys. Cheers.